if you want to do it better there are some we can check if we check the lower part here you see there is one part we will never get co correctly uh, with a profile function like this one and I know that this is due to the uh, fraction of the serum oxide with the nanoparticle okay so there is a small fraction inside that is causing this uh, you see bump uh, over here and I want to separate that one from the from the rest so I show you if this is a good example of how to do it if you have a, uh, a powder with two components inside and the other thing you can see here is also there is a little bit of a symmetry here normally they're going to the reverse respect to what we are using in Bragantano this is probably due simply to uh, the geometry uh, where we have a strike detector and the photon are incoming at a certain angle with respect to the detector so how we do this uh, we actually can do the following we can refine the asymmetry here okay let's start from some values not zero zero but from some real value actually here one can start from zero and the other can if we put 1000 uh, well but and I compute uh, you see the asymmetry is very large and in this direction so this is exactly the direction we don't want it and it is also too much so for too much I can just put 10,000 okay now it's much less but it's still the wrong direction, right? So in mode to invert the direction of the asymmetry, you go to the instrument, edit, we go to the instrument broadening, Cagliotti here, and here there is a truncation angle. So the asymmetry is calculated truncated over 0 0.4, and if we put a minus sign here, we go to a truncation angle negative, so it's going the other direction. Okay, now let's check, it's going the other direction, okay? So you can specify the direction of the asymmetry using the sign on the truncation angle. Okay, now I already specified that uh, I refine the asymmetry. The other thing is I want to get here a second phase, second serial phase here to account for the for the broadening over over the tail here okay so what I do I go to phases here okay first I save I go to phases and what I do I duplicate the object okay so I get a copy let's call this uh, uh, tail So, uh, or uh, nano, nano CO2, okay. Uh, now, uh, because this is done uh, with a, uh, like a duplication, and you may have some bound inside, so it's not so easy for the program to correctly duplicate, the best thing to uh, be sure to avoid any problem at this time is to after you do the duplication to save everything and to reload it so I normally do it so I'm sure I do not have a cross bound or similar stuff from the, the duplication so let's check in the duplication here I should have the same as the other so what I need to modify, okay, well, you see here, we have a P factor negative for the serum oxide, positive for the oxygen. Well, this is due to the fact that probably we have to 
actually refine the occupation of this dioxide. We have some vacancy for the oxygen. Okay, let's go to microstructure. Now for this one, we want to use uh, a line broadening model. So I use the delf here, and we specify some small crystallites, something like let's say 40. And here, well, let's start from a, from a smaller value. Okay, and now let's compute the pattern. Okay. Well, too much of this. You see the the nano the serum oxide nanoparticle is just giving this uh, broad tail here. Um, I need to I go here and I change. Uh, I put so the first is the serum oxide. So I put uh, something like nine ninety percent for one and one percent for the other. Let's see. Okay, now it's much better. And probably we need also uh, to decrease the intensity over here because uh, this was uh, automatically changed. So let's do always the same. So I prefer to adjust manually, so the program will start from a better situation because it was already uh, good before. I don't want to lose uh, what I reach before. Now uh, let's revise a little. Be paranoid and check always what you are refining. Uh, just to be sure. Okay, yes, in fact, I forgot. Uh, so now I want to refine the, the scale factor here, the volume fraction. So here, and uh, I don't need to refine the intensity in this case. Okay, with the new mod, uh, you can refine both scale factor, and if they both change increasing, for example they will renormalize and the different will be put in the intensity so I can fix the intensity. This is the new uh, way to work in MAUD or if you want to work with only refining one of the phase and leave the other uh, to balance then we have to specify in a preference in MAUD to, to use the old model. Okay. Now let's go to the rest, uh, Cagliotti, uh, Asymmetry, we will refine the Asymmetry, and uh, let's see, okay, now we have to go, the Serum Oxide here, um, what I would like to do is that I, I want to use the same structure, same parameter for the Nano, particle serum oxide has the other. How you can do this? You, If the two objects are similar, actually they are similar, there is only one uh, model different. The delf here, well, we do it anyway. I put this nano CO2 equal to the here, this one. I set bound, I extend everything to the subordinate object, and you see the nano, every parameter was put equal to the other one. Okay? What I do not want equal to the other are just uh, this parameter here, and I put again the value I was putting before, so 40 and 4. Okay? And so we will, but we will have, uh, you see, all the same B factor, occupancy, uh, etc., etc. So, and they will so share the same structure and microstructure. On, only the microstructures, crystalline size and microstructure will be different, and the dark model here. Okay. We are refining the B factor and the site occupancy. 
for the oxygen. 